Hello so guys, today I'm going to show you how you can set up your HD60 on your Xbox One. So this works on all the versions of HD60 as as plus or the normal one so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to here so let's start off with going to here and this is the input like you see and what you want to do is you want to connect this hdmi with your console so you want to connect it just with your console itself that you want to record on and now it's gonna be the xbox one so and this one this little button over here this is a usb-c Port, like you like you can see it right now but I already connected it so this is a USB-C port and you want to connect this one to your PC so I have a PC right over there that I have connected my Elgato right now you can also connect it with your Mac I also have it installed on my Mac or your laptop it does it doesn't really matter you can connect it with everything and this is with a USB so you just connect it with your USB on your PC now guys, on the other top, we have the output and you want to connect the output to our monitor or our TV. So whatever you are using right now, you want to connect it with your monitor or TV. So like you see here, make sure it's connected. And now I just want to also say is if you have multiple consoles like me, like for example, the PS4, the Nintendo Switch, at maybe the ps5 and the xbox x series when they come out what you can do is you can unplug the input one so just unplug it and connect it with a other console so i'm going to show you so like you see guys it's connected right now with my xbox one i'm going to pull out the input and now i'm going to connect my ps4 hdmi this is another hdmi so let's put it in so now I am connected with my PS4. It's actually that easy, like you see over there. It's that easy actually. And uh, like you see, this is the port, what goes in, like I said, to USB-C. And you have to download a software that I will show you later on. So guys, like you see, I have successfully connected my Xbox One with my uh elgato hd60 so it's pretty easy actually it's that easy to connect but i'm gonna show you some couple tips and the recording things which you can use for windows and mac so over here i have my mac and i'm also gonna show that for that one to download the application you want to search up elgato on your pc a Windows, laptop, or Mac, uh, or MacBook, and you want to go to here, downloads, and once you did that, you can choose between Windows and Mac. So for mine, I have a HD 60 as plus. So this one doesn't work for me because I don't know. It's I think it's a older version. So maybe if you have other um, game capture cards, it could cool be happening that this one works for you. You can try out. You can just download it. But if it doesn't work out, what you want to download is the 4K capture utility for Windows. And that's what I have right now. So you just want to go ahead and download it. And for the Mac, you can simply just go to here. I already downloaded this one. So this one works for the Mac. I have an HDX Plus and this one works for some reason. And it doesn't, I think it doesn't have a 4K utility. So it actually doesn't. So that's the only one that you can record. Let's close this off. And like you see, this is how it looks like. Like there's barely any latency. If you are like playing maybe a competitive game, you will notice it, but you have to remember that this is only for recording and live streaming. So this is the screen that you want to look at. And here is it for my uh, Mac and it has some other settings. Like I think it's pretty easier to use this one, but also it's also easy to use this one. The 4K utility, you can just go to here. You can go up to 4K 
60 fps but i suggest you guys to use 1080p 60 because it's like most game capture cards don't support that much my supports to i think about like 1080p i'm not sure i think it was like 1080p 60 f fps also guys i want to give you an extra tip so if you go to hdmi color uh, color range you want to make sure it's on shrink the reason why it's on the default one is gonna be bypass and it's gonna look a bit like uh it's gonna give you like a deaf color so let's do that so you won't notice it guys but once you have the hds plus and you try this on to shrink it's gonna actually give you a lot better graphics and stuff like that so it's gonna look a lot more alive and it's pretty good so make sure you apply it also and you will notice the difference So guys, this was a video. If you have extra questions, you can always ask them. And I just want to say, guys, if you wonder where I got that, I will leave a affiliate link in the description down below for the uh, Elgato Game Capture Card HD 60s Plus. So you can check it out. And also some other stuff that I use for my setup, like my keyboard, K57, my Razer Viper Mouse Ultimate Wireless, and stuff like that. So you can always check them out. And also, guys, if you please could like, subscribe, and also follow me on uh, Instagram. I will leave a link in the description down below. Also for my, for my Twitter and my second YouTube account. So... Goodbye, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. And take